Hi, you're welcome to another Gospel Keys Easy video tutorial. In this video, we will be looking at dissonant chords and how to make them to make sense in your playing. If you're new to the channel or if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe right now and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Also, please do make sure to like this video and also leave a comment. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so this tutorial is going to be in the key of F. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what a dissonant chord will sound like. So in the key of F, so let's say I play something like this. So I'm in the key of F, and I play something like this. Or I play something like this. That sound is not very nice, but when you use these dissonant chords in context, then things start to make a lot of sense. So in order for you to start to do these dissonant chords, you can think of this minor chord. So this should be a minor ninth chord. So you can start to use this chord shape to produce dissonant chords that actually make sense. Okay, so in the key of F, let's start from this position. So first of all, let's learn this chord. So we have F sharp, A, B, D. So if we take this to that position, so here we have F sharp as the first note from the left. And then we have B flat. So let's learn this chord. That's the second one. That's the third one. And that will be the other one. Okay, so you can actually start to make sense with this chord, like so. So for example, I'm going to do a one to the six, two, five, one. Okay, so we have this very nice movement where you go from one and you use this as a chord six. Okay, so for example, we have the song All to Jesus I Surrender. So I could do I surrender all. So using a dissonant chord, I could do this. Okay, so here I'm actually not playing any root notes, I'm just playing this very dissonant chord. So immediately I play this, I'm gonna go to the two. Okay, because it's so dissonant, you don't want to maybe like play dissonant chord after another dissonant chord. Okay, so we have something that goes from the one. So we use this as a chord six. Okay, and in order to actually make this chord sound very dissonant, you play the note next to the first note from the left. So we have that minor chord. So here I add the F. And I could also add the root note. It sounds very ugly, but when you use it in context, then it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's the first chord. Now let's move to the next chord. So we have this one. 
so I mentioned learning this chord and then the next one would be this that starts on the 4 so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 B flat so just like we added the F here for this one we're going to add the 3 which is the A as well and we will be using this as a chord 5 So a very good way to play this would be to do this very move. So you want to be able to produce this melody. Okay, and then when you do this, you can actually bounce on the five with your left hand. And then you want to play a chord that has a two on the far right. So this kind of sound really wants to resolve to a chord that has this note on the far right. And this is the same for the Triton flavor of this chord. So we have two, five, so that's a triton chord right there. So we have this triton chord. So this really wants to go to the one that has the two on the far right. Okay, so I'll play this very slowly so you can catch the chords. And then a very good chord one would also be Okay, so the one sounds a bit dissonant as well, it sounds a bit off but it's a very very jazzy and very nice sound okay so we have the two so let's try to use this in context Okay, so I'll do that again. Okay, so I've just done this two, five, one as a passing chord. So I've also seen that we can also resolve this to have a chord that has the three on the far right. Okay, so this is the five version. So we can do it as a two, five, one, two, five, one. So here is the next chord and we have that minor chord. So here what we can do is we can also make this into a chord five. So if I add 
the C major left hand. Now I'll make this a dominant version. So already this sounds like a very nice dissonant chord on its own. However, I'm just going to take out the G. And then here I'm going to add the C on the right hand. So let's do a quick example with the song Holy Holy Holy. So here we have one, two, five. So here we have the chord two, G, D, B flat. Okay, so once again we have the minor chord from this position. So left hand we play a C dominant chord. So here I take out the G and I add the C there. Actually I can take out the E as well because we have the E here. So now we can do a very nice 2 5 1 chord progression. So once again with the song Holy Holy Holy. So let's move on to the next chord. So here we have. So we've looked at this one. So this will be a very good substitution for chord six. So that's a good one for chord five. And with this one, you want to add a dominant chord, a dominant chord five on your left hand to have a very nice chord five as well. And then we have that minor chord, okay? So here we also add the E flat just to create that tension. So you could do this as a 3-6 chord progression. Okay, also with this chord, we could play a five dominant chord, left hand. And we also have a very nice chord five. Okay, here we could also do this.
So here is the chord. E, G, A, C. So left hand we play the C dominant chord. We could also do a slim down version. We can actually take out the E and G. All right, now moving on, let's find other chord numbers from the dissonance chords we've already looked at. Okay, so here we have a very nice chord 5. And if we take this up by a whole tone, we have a very nice chord 6 as well. Okay, now it doesn't sound very good, but when I use it in context, it's going to make sense. Okay, so I'm going to play like this. Okay, so we have the same chord, but because I've added the 6 on the right hand, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's a very, very nice jazzy, gospel-y chord 6 sound. Okay, and for the right hand chord, it's a very clumsy one. So you probably need some time to figure out how to play this type of chord. So left hand, we play the D, A, and C. Right hand we have E flat, F sharp, A flat, B, D. So for example with the song Holy Holy Holy. God in three pressings. Also, let's use another song as an example, How Great Is Our God. I could also just do D and C left hand. All right, now let's look at the last chord. So using the same principle by which we played the chord 5, the chord 6, now let's take that to the chord 3, and here we have Okay, and this is a very good chord for a 7-3-6 chord progression. Uh, 
our grave is our God. So once again. So left hand we have A, G, right hand we have B flat, C sharp, E flat, F sharp, A. All right, so that will be all for this video. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video and I hope that you can start to make use of this nice dissonant chords in your chord progressions. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and make sure you have the bell turned on. Also please do make sure to like this video and share the video, leave a comment. Alright, once again thanks a lot for watching, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.